I'm looking over the weird tree graveyard of Lake Malwela. An eerie scene in some ways, but it's part of an important story. The lake was created when Yarrawonga Weir was built across the Murray River in 1939. Both lake and weir were parts of a scheme to send irrigation water to the southern Riverina. It's hard to overstate how irrigation schemes like this transformed Australia. Frequent droughts had been the norm in this hot, dry part of the world. More reliable water meant more economic certainty for farmers and for settlement. States squabbled over water sharing, but in the end, the weir was built. Even today, it's quite a sight. The big gates open and all that vital water surges through. It heads west down the Murray on its long journey to the sea. Behind the weir, the water level rises in Lake Malwela. Some of it is diverted by gravity into the largest irrigation canal in the southern hemisphere, the Malwela Canal. It runs 156 kilometres to the town of Daniloquin. Just outside that town, the canal reaches the barrier of the Edwards River. But how to get it to the other side? A nifty solution was found in the Lawson siphons. They were completed after World War II. The siphons suck water through a series of pipes beneath the river. It comes out roughly a kilometre away and onward it flows. One of the many crops irrigation has made possible out here is rice. Green, water-loving paddies of rice. The water birds don't mind it either. The Malwala Canal is one of those engineering marvels that everyone takes for granted. For the drought-weary farmers of last century, it must have been miraculous. And it still is today.